first one drop, then two drops, then four drops, then eight drops, then 16 drops, half 80% pure black. Mm. Uh, which is Zahel? What do you think about which Zahel? Wait, I'm gonna unmute this guy, uh, David. Now you understand me? Uh, please ask your question because chat is running and I don't really understand. I mean, which hazel, the, the, the solution to add in the color? Uh, gray wash mixing solution, if you need. Yes, but there's always, you can buy some bottle, they, uh, the name called witch hazel, only witch hazel to mix it. <clears throat> you can go a little bit more simple way, just use the water. Yes, I only use water, but I, I ask you, what is your meaning about this? No, uh, the thing is... For why there is a difference between shading solution and the water if you use it with the water pigment slowly goes down for a long sessions you need to use your mixer again so shading solution you mix it once and it always stays like this because it's more thick so pigment don't go down so i really suggest you to use water and just mix it every two hours again but when, okay. you mix, when you mix, always go from lightest to darkest. Never go from darkest to lightest. Yes. This is important as well. Mm. So yeah, I, I suggest to use the water, distilled water and fuck it and mix it. Yeah. I only use water, but I don't know if you have some, yeah. Did you ever use this witch hazel or only water? Mm. I have so much of them, you cannot imagine, like everyone was sending these samples from all the brands, they just stand there. I think they are expired. I yeah. can send it to you if you want. No, <laughs> no, no, I only use water. <laughs> okay, good. You Thank have you. anything else? No, not now. Okay. Uh, wait, I'm gonna read the chat again. Oh, we're going to unmute Dave Sanchez. I think it will be interesting. Sanders, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we do. Okay. It's fucking four o'clock here, man. I'm exhausted. Um, you said the opaque, the opaque when you're, when you're mixing your inks. You're doing, uh, say, 10 drops black, 10 drops white, and then the rest water. What is, what's the ratio that you're actually using all the way up? You can use, for example, there are different ways. What I tell right now about gray wash, you can add same drops of white inside, Except for 80%, of course, it will be only 20% of white, so it will be pure pigment of gray color. And uh, for example, one black, one white, the rest is water, and you're going to have the gray color already. You can use it for every tone, and you're going to have interesting gray, gray wash. It's nice. As well, <clears throat> what you can do with OPEX. Just uh, if you want to do it yourself, try to make a different mixings. Always play with the color. You never know when you're going to end up. You can add a small drop of blue inside or a yellow or even green to all this mixture. And all these OPEC going to start changing the colors. For example, if you are working with a portrait, you're going to always have the cold side and the warm side. So you can make two sets, one set with one drop of blue and second set one drop of brown, for example, to make it cold and warm. So OPEC is actually the best 
way how to practice. You can create everything what you want. If you are working in a horror style, drop red inside. It will make these uh, dirty looking red and green, for example, dirty looking faces and stuff like this, more horrible, whatever. If you like to work more smooth, you cannot add anything. You can add yellow. Always experiment. It's all about experimentation. I do it every day, all the time. If it is one project, I'm going to stick to this solution. It's new project, I do something else. Absolutely. I never do the same thing again. I always want to progress. So I guess this was the answer. Is I don't know. Something. Dude, tell something to us. Well, I, I, your connection, my connection, shitty. It, it keeps lagging. What did you hear? I, I heard up to um. Drop a couple of drops of red into a horror face. Uh, what I mean, you can do experiments. You can try a lot of different uh, shading solutions until you're gonna find what you actually need. And uh, how to test it, we already know. We can test it on the piece of paper to understand how it actually will look healing or while it's fresh. Always experiment. Okay. Where are you from, Dave? Yeah, I took your seminar. I don't see you. I'm right here. Ah, oh, fuck, Canada. <laughs> yeah, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> it is 4 a.m. How come? It's four, four o'clock. Yeah, I called you at three o'clock because my daytime is way different than yours. Fuck. Your yeah. wife was bitching at me. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. You still have Saturday right now? No, I'm in Sunday morning now. Oh, okay, cool. At least something. I thought I thought this seminar was going to be three o'clock in the afternoon my time, not three o'clock in the fucking morning. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, it's always a blast watching you. How was the progress after the last time you was in Latvia? Amazing. Like, check out my Instagram, dude. Like, it's your seminar was fucking bawling. Mm -hmm. How do you like this one, online one? Um, it's mostly stuff you covered there, but the OPAC, the, the OPAC stuff is new. I, you didn't, you didn't go over any of that stuff there. Yeah, but in Latvia, it was hardcore. It was so much. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was an excellent seminar. I just brush it up. Like, I want to see what you got that's new. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something new. I always experiment. There is, uh, I'm always freestyling, man. I don't have, like, a special program for the seminar stuff. It's all about the freestyle. Yeah, oh, it's looking great. Your black work's really bumped up. To explain all what I know, it's totally impossible, I think. It's always from the memories comes something new and blah, fuck it. I'm crazy. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna mute you, Dave. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, perfect. Let's go for the stencil. And Vizuya. Thank you for the question. Uh, but uh, before we start with the stencil, let's uh, finish this topic. Who have any other questions about using uh, this? Carolina, I'm gonna unmute you. Carolina, please accept unmute button. Hey, how are you? Hello. This is, sorry, this is my um, wife uh, account. Okay. So, sorry, I didn't know how to change it. Um, okay, my question was that you, you make this set of gray wash with um, different drops of, of black but what about uh, mixing a little bit of white in each cup you know 
maybe I, I didn't understood very well the um, uh, your answer your last answer about uh, mixing like the same quantity of white than mm -hmm. black is is right yeah you just add to these uh, drops of black same amount of drops of white mm -hmm. and you're okay. gonna have uh, really interesting opaque colors okay it will okay. be gray straight away so it will be more easy to understand how it will look on the skin while you're working mm. and and another thing is is something that i don't understand very well because uh, maybe the terms or i don't know um when you say gray wash you you mean just with uh, water yes or this opaque that you mean or is when you add some white on it what's uh, the difference when you when you go uh tattooing you know what i mean like if you want to build the face or whatever if you are doing a face uh i know that with gray wash you just uh uh go really smooth you know yes gray same. wash and opaque is the same okay just like um color packing a little bit better the 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 other one no the opaque no no no, no, no. gray wash and opaque is the same monochrome okay ah, okay where you need to pack ah, okay 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 yeah i understand already okay. yeah you're welcome thank you man you're welcome okay i need to read the chat a little bit again Mm -hmm. about a few drops of white in each uh, ink uh, cap you can do it always try sometimes it helps more sometimes less sometimes you see more sometimes you don't see a difference but it can heal different always experiment i'm only for experiments how to get ice or fire effect you use solid colors we're gonna talk about colors a little bit later so stencil oh fuck i love this stencil is what i really like let's go uh well what the fuck i have some kind of strange notifications i don't really know if you see it i hope not it's about the porn basically maybe <clears throat> okay the stencils how i make stencils let's start like this i always use photoshop and the way a reason why i use photoshop is first i really need my time i don't want to spend my time on making stencils and wasting one two hours and losing all my energy on that so i use photoshop i'm gonna explain you how we're gonna open anything let's say and this guy So, I need to make a stencil of this octopus. What I need is first, I need the same layer of this. So we copy paste. <clears throat> I will explain you why we need two layers later. Then we need to go to black and white. Here we can choose all different kind of black and gray and you need to take one which is more suitable for you for example for me it's better to use something like this because i will see more details as i told you before i'm not artist i'm a technical guy so i really must have everything uh, everything there so then we go to filters we take other you take high pass and here you're gonna see this kind of stuff you can play with it the less you go the more thinner the lines will be and these shadows the more fat you go the fatter the lines will be so i always go somewhere here and press ok and then we go levels and we just go 
maximum to the middle. 